There are objects in our universe so enormous that even our imagination struggles to stand beside them. Places where gravity twists the fabric of reality, and where light itself seems to vanish the moment it is born. Ton 618 lives inside that realm. It does not shine like a star, and it does not grow like a galaxy. It exists as a contradiction that forces the universe to speak a different language. News headlines often repeat that Ton 618 is one of the brightest quasars ever observed. Yet they never tell you that NASA places it in a category that barely has a name. Astronomers call it ultramassive because its scale escapes the limits of ordinary understanding. According to NASA's measurements, Ton 618 stands among the largest black holes ever recorded and its mass defies every growth model scientists currently use to explain how black holes form and evolve. And that leads to a question no news outlet dares to ask. If Ton 618 truly exists at this scale, then what else about our universe have we misunderstood from the very beginning? In 1957 at the Tonan Sintla Observatory, a faint blue dot appeared on photographic plates, so dim and so ordinary that astronomers marked it as just another weak star in the sky. But when spectroscopy peeled back its light, the truth came roaring out. It was not a star, and it was not a supernova. It was the blazing core of a young galaxy, a heart of fire wrapped around something far more powerful. The light that left Ton 618 began its journey when the universe was less than a quarter of its current age, which means every time we look at it we are staring directly into the dawn of galactic history, a time when the first structures of the cosmos were only beginning to take shape. And that leads us to a deeper question. If Ton 618 sits so impossibly far away, then how are we able to see something that produces no light of its own? A black hole is pure darkness, yet everything that falls toward it becomes so bright it seems to burn through space itself. The gas spiraling into Ton 618 is crushed and heated through violent friction, reaching temperatures of tens of thousands of degrees until it glows across every wavelength from deep radio hums to visible light, and all the way up to deadly X-rays and gamma rays. NASA describes quasars as the brightest beacons in the universe, and Ton 618 is one of the clearest examples of that truth, because its radiance overwhelms the very galaxy that hosts it, turning billions of surrounding stars into a faint backdrop. In scientific literature, Ton 618 is placed in the category of stupendously large black holes, a label used only for monsters whose scale pushes our physical models to the edge. And if all of this sounds extreme, then it still pales compared to what Ton 618 launches out into the universe. From the poles of Ton 6, 1-8 colossal streams of plasma erupt into the universe, like arrows fired by a cosmic war god stretching for millions of light years and cutting their way through intergalactic space. These jets carry enough force to sweep entire clouds of gas out of a galaxy, and once the gas is gone, star formation stops, which means a single black hole can decide the destiny of billions of stars that have not yet been born. Some researchers even use the rotation and energy of these jets to test dark matter models, because the speed and structure of the outflow might reveal exotic particles we still do not fully understand. It turns Ton 618 into more than a monster. It becomes a laboratory for the strangest physics the universe can produce. But that still leaves the most unsettling question hanging above everything. If Ton 618 were dropped into our own Milky Way, then what exactly would happen to us? Ton 618 radiates with a power that outshines 100 trillion suns which is a number so large the mind has no natural place to store it. NASA describes it simply, but devastatingly. If this object were placed inside the Milky Way, its glow would overpower every star combined, turning the night sky into a washed out canvas of white light. From Earth, its brilliance would be 23 times brighter than the full moon, which means no constellation would survive, and every star we have ever mapped would disappear behind a wall of light coming from a single distant point, 
It is the kind of realization that bends your sense of scale because it means one dot in the sky could shine brighter than an entire galaxy of a hundred billion stars. But all of this is only the story of its light. The moment we look at its actual size, the definition of what a black hole can be begins to break apart. Ton 618 carries a mass of 66 billion suns and NASA places it among the heaviest black holes ever measured. A weight so extreme, it already pushes beyond what our models consider possible. Its event horizon stretches nearly 400 billion kilometers, almost 1300 astronomical units, which means the entire solar system from Mercury to Pluto could fall inside it with space still left untouched. If you stood near this cosmic giant, the sky above you would collapse into a single, flawless circle of darkness, a perfect void, swallowing a third of the heavens as if someone had torn a hole straight through the fabric of space. A scale like this breaks the mental map we use to understand the universe. And once the true magnitude settles in your mind, it leaves you with only one question. If something this massive can exist at all, then what happens to reality itself? when you get close enough to watch the rules begin to fail. Near the event horizon of Ton 618 time begins to lose its meaning because a single second spent at that boundary could stretch into years for anyone watching from a safe distance. To an outside observer, you would appear frozen at the edge of eternity, suspended in a moment that never seems to pass. Light suffers its own torment there, as gravitational redshift drags every color toward a deep blood red as if the black hole were draining the universe of its palette one shade at a time. In the case of giant black holes like Ton 618, NASA notes that even photons trapped in orbit around the horizon can take weeks to escape, which means the very act of light moving becomes a slow dance against gravity itself. This is where the familiar rules of perception fall apart, because time no longer flows normally and color no longer behaves like color. But the thing that troubles scientists the most is not what happens to light. It is the question of how something this extreme could have formed so early in the universe at all. The real scientific mystery behind Ton 618 is not just its size, but the moment in cosmic history when that size was achieved. Because this black hole reached a mass of 66 billion suns at a time when the universe was far too young to build such a monster through ordinary growth. The process we know as accretion, the slow feeding of gas and dust, simply cannot stack material fast enough to explain how Ton 618 became what it is. To bridge the gap, some theories suggest that it may have been born from the direct collapse of an enormous primordial cloud, a shortcut that skips the entire life cycle of stars. Other ideas propose the existence of a gigantic seed black hole, a type so massive at birth that we have never observed it and cannot yet prove it exists. And hovering behind all of these possibilities is the most uncomfortable thought of all, which is that the physics we use to describe how black holes grow might be incomplete. As several recent studies put it, if Ton 618 is truly this massive, then we are missing a critical piece of the story of how the universe built its first structures. And when you stare at Ton 618 long enough, what you see is not only power, but a question that refuses to be answered. Ton 618 is a destroyer. Yet, it is also a historian of the universe. Because the light it sends us is a relic from an age when galaxies were still learning how to exist. Every photon that reaches our telescopes carries the chemistry of the early cosmos and the blueprint of space. At the moment the first structures began to rise from darkness. It reminds us that the universe was far more chaotic than we imagine today and that monsters of this scale might have been common once before fading into the quiet of cosmic history. To understand Ton 618, is to peel back the layers of time and uncover the origins of every galaxy, including our own Milky Way. And perhaps Ton 618 is only one survivor from an era filled with giants that once walked through the night of a young universe. If that is true, then the real question is not where it came from, but how many more like it are still waiting to be found. I will see you in the next video 
where we keep opening the doors that the headlines never dare to touch.